All right, well, this is this is actually happening. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to uh, an LGR vlog travel thing. I don't know, I've been threatening to do this for years. <laughs> I just go on a trip to a convention and just record the whole thing unscripted along the way with the camera. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Now, this is not gonna be the only video of uh, this trip, which is uh, Vintage Computer Festival Midwest 2023, by the way, because I haven't said it. Uh, yeah, there's still gonna be a full regular LGR style video over on the LGR channel, going over you know the, the show itself and the things there and more about all that, which I've done several times before. But because I have done that before multiple times, I really wanted to just do something different this time. And um, it's really gonna be going more over like the trip up there, just a road trip from North Carolina to Chicago, and then a bunch of things in Chicago we did beforehand, the show itself, other stuff we did surrounding it, and then just coming back. Um, and yeah, really just a big part of this is hanging around Chicago with my brother, um, something we've done multiple times before. And you know, we've done a lot of the the go-to touristy things and museums and attractions and all that stuff before. Like we've done a lot of things in the city already. So yeah, let's just start at the beginning, which uh, this is gonna pick up right where I just finished packing everything up. Uh, again, there's gonna be like more of this stuff in the main video, but yeah, just packed everything up into the car, finalizing all of the junk that we gotta take to VCF and then, well, I don't know, let's just go, man. Let's go on a road trip. Yeah. All right, I think that's finally it for tonight anyway. It's about 9 p.m. I'm gonna be getting up at like 4.20 or something. I don't know, whenever I get up, because I like to get there by 5 p.m. Central. There's just always something you feels like you're forgetting. <laughs> no matter how many times you look at the list, and I do have lists of things. I was supposed to take and remember, you know, all the cables and adapters and tablets and phones and payment things and cash and whatever, and it's all checked off and it still feels like there's stuff missing anyway. <sighs> yeah, don't know how I'm gonna turn off my brain. I never actually do, <laughs> especially before a trip. So uh, whatever, good night, I guess. Got to sleep probably a little after two. Yeah, it's 5.30 now, so. <sighs> yeah, I was gonna like shave and make my own coffee or whatever, but screw it. Eh, not quite sunrise yet, but getting pretty close. Good morning. Uh, could I just do a grande pike roast uh, black, please? All right. Okay. Do you anything else? Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Ooh, nuclear hot coffee acquired. So much fog. Everything is fog. Continue on I-26. What? All right. The sun is thoroughly up. It is now 7.13 a.m. Going good so far, no complaints. Uh, yeah, the fog continues to be ridiculous. It always is this section of mountains, this time of day it seems. Oh yeah. Lovely, lovely stretch of road.
Proceed about two miles to Stinking Creek Road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she literally just said that. Go to Stinking Creek. I always forget that road is a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Energy drinks. Not enough chargers. Quite a selection. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I was just looking for my phone charger. Couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, I think it's in my computer bag, right? That should be right behind. Wait a second. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I forgot my computer bag, which has my chargers in it, as well as my tablet that I was going to be using for doing the square pavement stuff at the show. I kind of need that. I knew I was forgetting something last night that I hadn't packed. I figured, oh, I'll just get it in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's totally not in here, so. Random Best Buy in Kentucky. <laughs> Open box deals. Something good and kind of cheap in here. I clearly haven't been to a Best Buy in a long time. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know they had these kind of... What is this monstrosity? Huh. Interesting switches. This and this. Oh my gosh. All right, well, problem solved. I just bought a new laptop, a new tablet, and a new phone charger, and a new card reader, and... You have arrived at your destination. And it's just now 1 o'clock, still Eastern Time Zone, uh, just off of Unnamed. <laughs> uh, got five-ish hours remaining, 326 miles. And you've already done 342 miles on this tank, and still 70-ish to go, so I'll probably go another 30 or 40 miles fill up the tank again and that'll leave us enough to get to chicago back on the road just past big bone lick well uh, officially entered indiana see how long it takes till we just run into endless cornfields get ourselves some gas first stupid talking gas pumps those buttons, that one usually right there is the one that mutes it. Not nearly as interesting a collection of goodies here. Just typical gas station fare. Corn! You know, it took 20 minutes across the state line and I stopped for gas too. Indiana continues. Forever and ever and ever. I don't know, like there's a certain charm to it. There's just too much of it. There <laughs> we go. Lake Street exit 51A. I think. Oh, uh, what the heck? How am I supposed to get over there? <laughs> there wasn't an exit. In one tenth of a mile, right turn. It's taking me somewhere all the heckin' way across the river. Exit 50 B that's, is on the right. That's silly. That's silly. Slow traffic. Shocking. As we cross the river. In half of a mile, right turn onto North LaSalle Drive. Cross the river again. Why not? 
Heck yeah. Chicago things are happening. Oh no, more corn. Right turn onto North Upper Stetson Avenue. Get right to Upper Stetson Avenue. You picking up or checking in? I'm checking in. Oh, checking in. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So it's all valet parking. Yeah. At the rate of 79 a day with in and out privileges, no limitation. Okay. Finally at the first hotel of the trip. on the 16th floor <laughs> nice I think uh, Luke is up on the 33rd so I have to see the the room view up there as well but yep we're in the city by the river just what I was hoping for what are you doing here what are you doing here So you're up on the 33rd? 33rd, yeah. It's, uh, same side of the building? Same view, just a little bit higher. Is that how height works? No. <laughs> so there's, there's a new uh, SD card. I got a tablet, I got that, I got a computer. I don't know what any of this is. I guess I'll find out. Mm. Oh, so this does have an SD card slot. That's good. I was just like, dude, just give me something. It was like on sale and eh. had a nice feeling keyboard. Not bad. Oh yeah. I mean, I like this too, actually. It's not bad, it's not bad. My little sniper's messed up here. <laughs> Are you just shooting random stuff? Yeah. Just, just shooting. Yeah, that's it. That's been going for like, Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's actually not like a, a shockingly different view, yeah, even though it is much higher, is like surprising. twice, twice as high. Yeah. So somebody didn't license the elevator. It's not a touch screen. Hotel acquired. Need food. We're walking in the direction of who knows. Going down. Beatnik on the run. What are you looking at? There's dates in there somewhere. There we go. Heck yeah, dude, looking awesome. Well, this is cool. I think I've ever seen this. Walk. 
always pleasant. Chicago stuff. Back to the hotel. You're gonna run me over? Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh it's kinda warm out there, even at night. Ah, time for bed. morning indeed slept like a rock it's about 10 a.m whatever man i needed it so which way do we want to go left or right <laughs> lighting at the moment. Yeah. Aeon building right there, if it's still called that. They remind me of like uh, something out of Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> They're like wind chimes, but not. They're not chimes. Quite a crowd for something. Carnitas Benedict. Potatoes. Potatoes. Italian sausage. I know, substantial, man. Oh, that was so good. I'm so full. Mmm, Chicago. I don't know where we're going. Honestly, oh, wow, it's pretty cool. What the heck? I mean, I knew this is like, wow, what in the world? <laughs> like seriously, all I wanted was a hat. <laughs> it's just like,
Jessica have any? Huh, some deer on it. Looks like our uh, grandparents pumped it. Yeah, it kind of <laughs> does. Yeah, Tiffany Dome. Quite a thing. Yeah, they do have a Toys R Us of sorts. A larger pop-up than I've seen elsewhere. I don't know what anything is anymore. Roblox bees. <laughs> the monster trucks with the sand pits. Kinetic sand. Monster dirt. Yeah, that the big set right there. Still want that. Yeah, right. Like, it's like, you can see the vibe they're going for, but it doesn't feel like a Toys R Us at all. No. Lego wiener. It's like Toys R Us, toys, toys, and sharper image junk. Cause you know. Just trying to get out of the store and just keep running across cool stuff. <laughs> That answers that. And then that goes up here. All right, just, just figuring out this whole pedway thing and like how these connect, I don't know, I never knew. Now I know. Okay, okay. I've never been down to one of those. I always go like up on the L and... Yeah, it's Macy's and Marshall Field and Company building. Yeah, uh, my head's not gonna get sunburned now. <laughs> so yeah. I've always like seen the building, but just never been up there or in there. Oh, uh, the Marshall? Yeah. yeah. Now I know. So we're gonna just go here. <laughs> there it is, yeah. Goth Target. So yeah, the Sullivan Center is what it's called. Another 1890s. Also known as Goth Target. <laughs> Quite the, uh, I think iron works. Steel works, something works. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. Sweet though. Ah, that's cool. This location is closed, but that is awesome. Yeah, they had like a fancy clock and everything. I knew it, you're gonna wait for those people to cross. All right, so yeah, we're coming down this way, walking sort of south. I think there is that library. It might be kind of boring looking on the inside from what I was seeing online, but it certainly looks awesome from here. Here. There we go. Pretty neat. Another 1893 thing. So it's 
classic brick work and all that. for a second. Yeah, like that right there. today. Labor Day. There she is. Finance, finance, finance central. Indeed. Yeah, good old rookery. It's so cool. I don't know if we can go inside there today, but we've definitely been in there before. Get the Frank Lloyd Wright stuff in there. Complimented on your medium format camera. It's very specific. Yeah, dude. Never come to this part of the river enough. best. It really is uncharacteristically like not busy, just so few people relative to what I'm used to. <sighs> I've done this terribly.
hot and sweaty. Getting tired. How are we doing? How are we doing? It's just a nice area no matter what time of day you come down here. You know. like a, a pina colada slushy. I think it's just flavored, but. It's honestly quite good, man. Yeah. Back to the hotel room. <laughs> After a quick shower. This makes sense. Yeah. On the bright side, this uh, computer seems to be doing just fine for what it is. Still still cannot believe that I forgot my whole computer bag with all the stuff in it. Yeah, gonna start transferring this and this and other various things because, you know, I could back all that stuff up along the way. Anyway, computer seems actually pretty cool. I like the build quality. And it's, it's gotta be at least 10 years since I last bought a Windows <laughs> laptop that was new anyway and not like from the 90s. The last one was some MSI gaming thing I think I got in 2013 or 14, maybe. Anyway, it's been a long time. I've been using Macs since 2015. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this shirt's ridiculous. It's another thing I picked up at uh, Macy's. I don't know, it's on sale. Super zoom is nuts. <laughs> All right. It's not like a communion wafer on there. I don't like. What is that? You have to make a commitment to God before drinking that, dude. Hmm. Barnum's animal crackers. Man, I, I haven't <laughs> seen those. The dude, not since I was a kid. Haven't seen those. Yeah, but why? They got a lot of stuff in there. I just... Actually, I don't like this. Yeah, honestly? Yes. You know, I just can't help myself. I don't know where we've ended up, but it's kind of neat. Yeah. 
Yeah, like these are just, it's like one and a half steps. Too wide. Too wide. It's like, ah, but, but, ugh. Why are they like that? Why would they do that? Okay. I'm, I'm honestly confused by a lot of things here. Why is it like that? Why is this design? What, what is this design? It reminds me of playing like a city's building, kind of a city skylines or something. Where it's like we need to enhance the park's attractiveness rating. So let's just plop down a bunch of them. park thing itself is pretty neat though. I rather like it. Just deeply confusing fountains. Pretty attractive little park. We're still on Navy Pier. Right, yeah, it was it's saying we're right on top of it, so I'm gonna say this is it. And then this probably goes to like the pedestrian trail thing. Always discovering somewhere different. Last time we were in here, it's 2021. It's crazy. It like seems like yesterday, but at the same time, yeah. like There's a city back there. Jimmy Buffett. Some some to go. Buffett marks. Cheers. Cheers. Heck yeah, dude. 
Good old Navy Pier experience. Purple. That's how you know it's good. Well, the like striated logo and everything. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like it looks old. Proper. Proper. Proper purple film. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> it's ready. It's ready. Don't forget, kids. Always adjust your ISO. Now we're ready. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Struggles of a photographer. You have to move in Head order south. to. Turn left for Google North Columbus me Drive. Where to go. Oh yeah. No matter how many times I come down here, <laughs> always enchanted. I know, dude. Every time I come like by this area, it doesn't matter. Still enchanted. through here we go got that cheeseburger got that chicago dog and we got famous brown chicago dog impression with pickle and everything else there's a lot going on yeah right yeah. right right it's not bad i can tell it's you not, okay. i can tell you don't hate it. it okay here's what it is so the idea of like a whole like quarter pickle just on a hot dog with raw tomatoes with everything in your mouth you're right i don't hate it would i order it for myself no but try it without the big old pickle it's missing something without the pickle i was about to say i gotta I, like i think it all works together very well I yeah know. no i mean that's what i'm saying like once it gets all mushed up Mm -hmm. Don't hit it. Bit of a later start today, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, at least it's... A... Uh, back straight into the ottoman. At least it's a nice day. Uh, we're gonna go to a camera shop and... Uh, yeah, I've got some interesting plans today. But, you know, it's 11.45. Yeah, man. See, so yeah, we need to be down there.
It just like has texture. And it's so ugly. It's like something out of SimCity 3000 or something. Guess we're going here. I didn't even look at this place as many years. Okay. Water, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it all, it all looks good. I was thinking about the chicken and waffles, but I can get that pretty much anywhere. Sure. I have to do the breakfast mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and cheese loaded with ham and bacon chives topped with bun. See how they do grits up here. Sunny side up egg on the mac and cheese. I mean, that just sounds... Uh, it sounds like everything I want in life. So creamy. It's called the chicken or the egg sandwich. Chicken it's, or uh, the egg. Yeah, it's got chicken, fried egg, cheese, some sort of sauce, and cheesy grits. Oh man, very cheesy grits. Very cheesy. Here is that <laughs> breakfast mac and cheese thing. Hop on that train. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. California. Right. So, lead the way to cameras. Cozy corner. An Eagle Vision. I haven't seen one of those. Stopping in here. Water. Water, water. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> if we hadn't just eaten, I probably would, honestly. This is it. Under the trees. Heck yeah. Looking for straps too. Looks like a really small semi. What? 
Yeah, so yeah. Same along the same lines. A little bit of everything. But... This seems like a nice little camera strap for the, uh, the Lumix, the little one that I've been carrying around that didn't have a wrist strap. This seems neat. Yeah, it's definitely going to be getting some sort of film time. Gotcha. And same with the portrait. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Feels good. Four forty five for regular gas. Very small. <laughs> Kinda love it. Where are we? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> we made no plans. Go to the camera shop, he said. We'll figure it out from there. Jeans. Sausage, meats. Looks awesome. like smoke shop and repairs it's just straight up photos from I fix it shopping mall. It's kind of weird because like it, there, it's a lot of height but not a lot of stuff on each floor. Back here once again. For now. Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna kind of grab one of these. Yeah. You want two if you want. This will work. That was not a good sandwich.
But whatever, it's baseball time. Yeah. Go from there to there. All the way up there. Yeah. It goes straight to baseball. Yep. Sure does. That's it. That's a good train. Yeah, at least it's not raining. Is like you're giving a pat down and x ray and all that. It's like, uh, Rogers here in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
Brings it down by two. Down by three earlier. Yeah. 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 Central time. Been dealing with all kinds of plumbing problems. Apparently, a big old leak at home. Like they they can fix it, but uh, it's not going to be cheap. There. Man, yeah. I tried to get a little bit of sleep. Slept a little, I think. I was so groggy. What a stupid morning. Stupid water mains, stupid houses. <laughs> Conference is on. Hundreds of people in there. I haven't been to this plaza on this trip yet. It's like a slight haze. Heck yeah. It's the place we were trying to go yesterday and I put it in the wrong location. <laughs> Size. I, don't, I don't quite understand why places do that. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's it's so like large. Yeah. You can barely fit it on. Yeah, like. <laughs> I mean that bacon though. Muffins. Yeah, it's a burrito. Avocado and chorizo and stuff, dude. Look at that. Much cooler today. Far less hot.
inside a water tower place. I guess it's like a mall. I don't know. I've never, never been in here. Never really thought to, but uh, oh. yeah, it's, 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 it's a mall. <laughs> That's where we are. my living room. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Oh, my God. <laughs> 200 for that Concord. Yeah, we can see process is to go up there. Actually, dude. Sky cheers. this like self-important music to make you feel like everything you're doing is like so substantial. Yeah. Wow. Sit on the grass. Sit on the grass. Dang it, we didn't, did we? It's like the iconic front side. We messed up. day continues.
so much more comfortable today. 79 degrees and light wind and kind of overcast. A notable improvement. So crazy busy with this conference, man. Whatever it is, four kites of visibility. All right, time to rest a little. Yeah. Relaxing a bit, and then I guess we're going to Chinatown. I've never been. Fun little walk around spot. Somehow found our way to State Street.
Back to Staten Lake. Yeah, we want to go up there. Buses. Up there. Okay. Never mind, they refused us. They said they don't serve our kind. Count? Alright. Yeah, uh, don't open until 9 o'clock to the public, so. I'll just stay here next time, basically. Neat cloud cover. It's time for 7 Eleven. That's all you got. That's all. That's all you got. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't know. Still just let the clouds. You know? Yes. But I've acquired the best vessel. Yes. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've ever seen. It's so stupid cold. They just took the Chicago bean and stuck a shot glass in it. Look at this stupid. Oh my god. Oh get that. Oh my. Chicago. God, dude. Chicago. Thin crust. Look at the way it's slicing it. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a commercial, dude. Final day here. Well, at least in the hotel here. Check it out now. Another gray day. Bizarrely, the clearing in sign is covered up on both sides. At least the sign is on the building. <laughs> there we are. My goodness. Clary on my way, words. Nothing yet. Apparently, their check in system is not really working. That's great. I had to put stuff in manually. Probably on this end. Smells like butt and feet, a little bit of weed. It's definitely the Clarion Inn. It is a hotel. Yep. Good night. It was bad. <laughs> bad sleep. Annoying, annoying air conditioner, one of those that just constantly starts and stops and sputters and like rumbles on and then goes too cold and then too hot and then. Mm. I don't want to go golf. 
golfing. Yes, we'll do. Ooh. Tasty breakfast burrito. Oh, wait, that's a croissant, but like a donut a croissant? Yeah, it's a donut croissant. Whatever that means. <laughs> if you just put a hole in it. Yeah. Anything's a donut if you put a hole in it. So far, so familiar. Okay. All right, so yeah, just these two. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what in the world? A sound chaser. Passport designs. They're the people that did uh, canyon.net, passport.net, and all the MIDI files I use. It's happening. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Going at it alone. <laughs> you know, like maybe this will be a general kind of setup. Getting pretty excited. Yeah, we're missing a keyboard cable for the other Model M, and there's a guy selling them over there, so. Perfect. Yeah, this will work. Nice. Yeah, they have this, this, this janky solution with the video card there. <laughs> Seems secure. It's totally in place. <laughs> but it doesn't have these. I forgot to put them on before I left, so. Yeah. That'll work. Maybe. Please still function. Because that video card could be a, so iffy last time I tested it. Is the card? Okay, there it is. Good. Thank goodness. Good sign. So crusty, okay? found it in a river or bog or a toilet where was it found <laughs> so i got it it was outside for like a year okay and at vcf east a couple of years ago uh we decided to see if it would work so it did and it was horrible so we decided you know why not stress test it so honestly I buried it for like six eight months and then it worked fine after Basically, it's a synthesizer inside the Apple II. Yes. It's like a dollar store fair light, but still really fun and kind of powerful. At least a couple of dollar stores. Oh, yeah. We got different presets, for example. This is like a brass sweep. Nice. So is it actually just running samples? No. Okay. It's being synthesized. It okay. Not, it does, so it doesn't like sample like a Fairlight exactly. No, no, But no. yeah. It's, it's, it's like a dollar store Fairlight. Right. It doesn't even technically sample. Right. <laughs> this here, these are the sound cards. It's the Mountain Computer Music System. Mm -hmm. Two sound cards connected by that really flimsy ribbon cable that somehow hasn't broken yet. <laughs> Which are all fed from the bus by the software. And then the keyboard is fed in through this, this card right here. And it, uh, it's really goofy, but it works, and it works pretty well. And of course we have... It Is actually, this like sold as like a complete system that you could just buy and like make your Apple II like well, awesome or...? Yes, um, this was sold with the sound cards in 1983 for about a thousand something dollars. Yeah. Ten different presets. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Got some arpeggiation going on yeah, there. Exactly. That's great. Is is the same? Yeah, it looks yeah, like the same clone. It's the clone. Okay. It's the same from uh, from Mike Douglas. Yes. So you've got the, the serial port. So I'll show you how to set it up at home. Okay. To be using it. So what you want to do first is put in the right address to load the specific ROM. Then of course you reset it. Now 
you then go to the to, to the address we put there, and now you have to enter the options to tell the the, the program in the run how to read the data from the serial port. Yeah. So I don't remember exactly which option does, but basically you want to all off except 12, 9, and 8 here. All right. The tick run loads a little bit, and now you have to go there and wind the tape. <laughs> okay, you have yes. to be precisely aligned, I found, to make sure that you start the tape at the right offset. So now it's ready, all you have to do is wind. We will get a basic prompt on the typewriter. And it did oh. not go well. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I was not aligned properly. So okay. I start again. It's really that specific, huh? Uh, it's very, very, very difficult. The reader reads correctly all the time. It's just, you know, I have to align it some, somewhat correctly first. I had it working two times in a row. I mean, you just, just finished this just, up, just right? Just finished this up, yes. Like right before the show. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. Wow. So the issue, because I ran out of time, so this one here, mm -hmm. it's the original bezel, but I've, I've, I tried to like trim it, so I don't know. Okay. Like I've been working on like replacement pieces, but I didn't have time. I mean, so they only sold them as, as black units, but they had uh, like an yeah. option that you could you could like pick up from, from the store where, where you, would replace, you would replace it yourself. That's very unusual for IBM, but I guess IBM Japan, whatever. Yeah, just... so they were like super like a, official IBM pieces, but it was rare. I don't know. I mean, the, the PC-110 didn't last long, and those were even like rarer. Yeah, so, I never even saw these when yeah, I was like so, doing research on them. So I got these ones, but the blue one, I ne I've never come across a, a, bo a bottom blue one. <laughs> so Got the whole setup over here. So cool. It's so where this is the first run? Where are you gonna be? Um, 111th and Kedzie. It, so <laughs> you had a lot of this last time, right? I know. I know. I saw like a good spread of all these in the Sim City. Oh, I, I just didn't get much time to like s stop by here. Now this time I'm like I'm gonna make a point to do it. I went a little nuts with the geek spiel. I uh, yeah, geek spiel all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> May as well. And uh, it has full gambit of DOS games all working in OS2. Nice. I love these docking stations. I, I have one of those too. too. And I finally got the speakers working. They were really? working last year. And now Mine are like all crackly and weird, so and like so I don't know if it's the same thing. It's not very amplified, but at least I get the word. Yes. It's the worst CD ROM. It's so slow <laughs> and just chonky and like but yeah, the the key, like mine has the key and everything too. It's just like I don't know if I told you the story about it, but no. I bought it in the auction book. So which version is this? This exactly? is DOSBox 7.2. Okay. So cool to see a libretto running it. Oh hey now. <laughs> <laughs> This is the physical equivalent of having all of your icons on your desktop. Yep. You know, I thought I had a compact flash selection in a box. This is, this is wonderful. <laughs> Truly though, I like this. And all the little tabs on there because they suck yeah, getting out of that, that thing. That. Oh man. It has like so much capacitor death going on. Oh yeah, I like, actually had to gut this one. Yeah, mine really needs that because, well, I mean, you know, it's just during that era. Yeah. But that's awesome. It's in great shape. Yeah, there we go. Do you have the key still? I don't. Oh uh, yeah, mine didn't either. <laughs> I was like, thank goodness it wasn't locked when it was left, but yeah. Did these come with light scribe? No, no. They yeah, I didn't I didn't think so. That's super cool though. So much FM goodness. Dude. TX7. 
great. That's awesome. I'm actually running at the my bird yeah. right now. And I need another car. <laughs> Fantastic stuff, man. I'm trying my best to protect all of the OPO music. Yes. You know, using the BGM format. Yeah. You can listen to it all in one place. I love the TX7 over there. Yeah, that's wonderful. I had a DX7 a couple years ago, but I didn't feel like bringing the whole thing out. I started out, you know, I grew up loving OPL2 stuff. And right. I started hearing some of the more accomplished songs people were doing in an ad tracker. Uh -huh. And then I wanted to listen to it like in, a, in like a playlist, but there's so many different file formats, and like yeah. ad play doesn't even play them all right. Dude, ad play is very unpredictable, I found. Yeah. Too. Yeah, like I tried to demonstrate it. Yeah, on certain so, things. I end up like just going back to games. So it does work. It's, it's um, to me, it's a little, uh, you know, this old stuff is a little wonky. <laughs> Always. It's not completely the most user-friendly thing, but um, I haven't got it all hooked up yet, but uh, but I'll get it. I'll get it. Also, there. just goes straight into the user port there. and Yeah, it just goes into the user port. It runs off of, uh, I think the software's called Music Port, too. That would make sense. And... Um, Basically, it allows you to select each individual voice. Yeah. You can do a basic little tune, and then you can go back and add on top of it. And so they, I think they called it a multi-track system, you know, very early. <laughs> At the time, it was probably really cool, right? Yeah. So, now we run. Close. Now it's running the code. Exactly. And now we wind. Okay, we switch kind of Mac going now. And we should get a pretty basic from here. So... You just wind and wind and wind. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is yeah. that? It's not 30 old. There we go. Work. You got the prong. Nice. Oh, yeah. See it doing its thing over here. Oh, that's wonderful. Famous snowboarder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Success. Who is this imposter? I'll try, I will uh, try to make you a copy of uh, 4K Basic. Sure. And anything you want to add it. Uh... Well, the idea was that you could just find somebody that's someone like a Mac motherboard, and you could like wire up a TTL adapter, so you've got video, and wire up a power supply adapter. And that stuff existed 30 years ago, but it certainly doesn't exist now. Sure. So I just took it on myself to turn around and uh, make some of those things. So if you have like a Macintosh SE, I've got two boards. If you want to do it where it's just like a board thing, I got this J12 adapter that just basically knocks it out to an ATX power supply. Or you can pull that off, and what this one is set up with is this pass-through. You just have the, the um, interconnect board from your analog to your digital board. And then this all just very svelte inside the machine. You don't see no cuts, no anything. Uh, yeah, honestly, this is yeah. pretty clean for what it is. Yeah. Like just everything broken out into those little bits. Yeah, so it's it breaks all your video and stuff out. I made it a little TTL adapter based on Larry Pina's design from 40 years ago. All right, the setup I think pretty much all put together. I'm gonna have merch set up over there. Luke is doing camera things. Oddware tower. The bear. It is working now <laughs> with the video card, and I got this on the uh, on Amazon. It's just like a wooden speaker, but it works well. USB powered, so didn't want to be dragging a whole bunch of pairs of speakers all over the place this year. Heck yeah! The free pile is absurd this year. Like it looks like an e-waste facility. This is all free. NEC PC DR311. It should be. Oh, this is so cute. You know how some boards have these mounts. Mm -hmm. Plug it right in. There's some genuinely good stuff hidden away in here. It's like a mini computer reset warehouse or something. Like, what is this? Wait a second, wait a second. Is this in, this is in the free pile? I've been looking for this. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> All right, Michael MJD, eat your heart out. I can't find anything about this anymore. I mean, I've certainly never seen that particular model. I love the design. A cool little... So all I find is a photo. It's a 46 system. That's it. Oh wow! 
That's awesome. Filming, filming, filming. Yeah, man. I was really hesitant to watch it. You were what? Hesitating? <laughs> no, that that video ended up. So I guess all these are like. Yeah, the ones with the blue tags. So the pyramid is number two, three, two, three, eight. But I just sold them until I broke even. And now that I'm broke even, I'm happy to. Oh, man. Hey, man. Welcome to gyms. Like it just it just happens. <laughs> just raiding Jim's place. Just take it all. Just take it all. <laughs> Avon Beauty Vision. I can see our content. What? So this is at your. This is at this. It just keeps going. <laughs> Jim, I want to see that that, that floppy storage again. That's super cool. What, oh, the, which one? This. Oh, it's, it's just crazy. it's just built into that. I know five and a quarter. Isn't that amazing? It is. When I saw I've this, never I was seen like, a switcher like that. So uh, it, that's so cool. This one was OEM by CompuLand, but there's a, there are a couple more. Look for Power Director. Okay. Um, I have another one that's three and a half. So I thought that's kind of. Cool. Oh. But yeah, is that well, awesome? That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, all mine are like the basic Tandy or Memorex ones. are boring. You know, everybody's got those. But the fact that that's right there. Uh, I got a couple of spares, yeah. but uh, that was the idea, was that it was going to be four stations and the rest were just, if something goes yeah. over, I can yank it out and put another one back in and just keep going. Yeah. But, so cool uh, to see one actually working. Uh, yeah. I got here and like, okay, yeah, you work it, you share it. I see the Atari deal. It's all set up and looking crazy. Right? That is wild. But this is the uh, one of only two that splits in half basically so the top half could be put on a counter of a store i see that so if you didn't want the bottom cabinet for whatever reason then you can do that so this is the latest model that they made and it's pretty interesting and believe it or not i just finished restoring it completely yesterday over the last two weeks shut down for the night a crazy day tomorrow there's so much here i haven't even seen the other rooms over there uh, 7.30, the day of the show, Saturday, yeah, ready to go, breakfast sort of. Ready to go. <laughs> Got a badge. We'll get there and set up the merchandise, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a full day of stuff. Cicadas. Oh yeah, they're doing a thing too now, where it's like. Folks are just like selling stuff outside too, like in the parking lots and just like outside of the hotel. Wow. Yep. Free pile is somewhat gone down. <laughs> or at least been consolidated. Ted's table is wild. I know. Yeah, I did. I was, oh, is that what that is? Okay, I saw there was a bunch of stuff out there. So it's a lot of the free pile? Outside, we condensed a lot of it, and then we also have this guy right here. He's a vendor who's setting up up outside just because space. Yeah, I saw that there were going to be some folks out like at the parking yeah. lots and just wherever. So, <clears throat> the calm before the storm. 
relatively speaking, that computer is awesome. There we go. People kept saying they look creepy, but hats help. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that'd be good. This is not part of it, but... There it is. There's that wonky monitor. The merch going here. What's up? What's going on? Okay. First order of business. Get the merch thingy ready. Put the example items out and uh, hang up all the shareware. Get the square going. Are you perfectly rested and just like incredibly ready? Because I know I <laughs> had no problem sleeping and feeling great. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. All things considered, I felt a lot worse yesterday. The dooms were kind of up here. Yeah. Feels like it. as well. I don't know what happened to the cool crab badges. I had cool crab badges, but all I can find is these right now. So it goes. Plus youth, medium and large, and ladies medium and large. VCF Midwest 18 is underway. We're running until 10 p.m. tonight. Enjoy your day. That's intense. <laughs> I had to like leave the line of people waiting there and they're like, oh my God, I have to eat for a minute. Back into the fray for a little bit until the panel and oh my goodness. Man, it smells like pizza back here. It smells good. What are they cooking? I guess pizza. Oh my gosh, what the heck, I think this is me.
30-minute whirlwind of insanity onto the panel. <sighs> My voice is dying. I'm dying. There's the thing. Here we go. Oh. Wow, this is different. Okay. Yeah, kind of feels like we're taking to the slaughter here. Sit in any seat you want except the one all the way to the left. Alright, that's me. Are you doing oh so you didn't get Bell Hurt to do this, huh? I'm functional. Okay. So uh I'm gonna do it. But Bill is in the room. We're all doing the same thing. You can't vlog, I'm vlogging. What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me, I have the Get at oh come on. What is this? <laughs> this is the only real vlog camera. You're here. the one with the best camera, it's yeah. not fair. See, I brought dedicated equipment. Uh, we'll <laughs> that's a prime lens on there, suckers. <laughs> When you enter the room, they're it's probably going to applaud. Okay. So when you enter the room, there's literal crickets back here. Though, is this the proper reception? <laughs> I know. I couldn't find it. It's behind the tables. And when you, when you said left, <laughs> I couldn't. Stage right. Stage right. Okay. Stage right. Okay. This is silly. This is this is silly. Not a breath. All right, let's do it. I feel nervous all of a sudden. Let's do this. What is this bunch of nonsense? You got this. Sit anywhere you like. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was looking for you. No, that's cool. That went well. And now back to the real party, I guess. Hope Luke is doing okay. Going twice. Thank you very much, sir. Bitter number eight. Twenty-seven. Fifty-four dollars. So it has sold. It went it went to somebody. I didn't see how much it went for, but uh, yeah, the pyramid is very much on to a new home now. This is That is awesome. What is this? This is a oh, sound Lion 2149. Option. MQ 401, yeah, what? This is an external header that can connect to an, an external MQ 401. Someone brought this to who, Ben's who table with some random guy. He's just here, Ben, have this malort. It's always somebody. I don't know where to start. I'm seeing a lot of repeat folks from last year, but a lot of new stuff too, so. I really want to Yeah, sure, we'll go ahead. Yeah, we'll go ahead. Our map Wonderland right over here. So yeah, dude, bunch of stuff snapped up. Got a 165C with the original in-store demo running on it. It's literally taped together. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> and it is. What's the main difference together. between these and the 575? Because I have a 575. So but... this is a shadow mass display. Okay. It has an IDE hard drive and it uses the. Uh, form a 636 CD's logic port, so... Do you mind being on video? Uh, yeah, dude. You might lose a couple subscribers, because I'm always so... <laughs> oh, it's fine, dude. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm Chris. Chris. Clint. Yeah, dude. Do you see the Fisher Price? The, I love it. Yeah. They had one over there, too, like, I guess, like, fully assembled, but... but, like, right, but the yeah, yeah. Yeah, I always like these things because it was like actually made by IBM or like in partnership yeah, with I know. them. And like, what the hell? Yeah, uh, I remember seeing them at like airport terminals and like kids' hospitals and you know all these kind of things. Like I, I saw your video doing you some Euro rank stuff every now and again. Uh, yeah. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what anything is. <laughs> it's some madness, is what it is. Okay. I'll send you a picture of it. Yeah, I do. I'll send you a picture of There's it. If a... If anything, I could send it to you. You could do a video on it or something. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and now you're in it. <laughs> See anything super fascinating out here? I, I, this is my first chance getting out to see I've been here for like six hours. It's all fascinating. I know, right? Like everywhere I'm looking, it's like, what is that? What is that? What is that? That is an hey, awesome hey, uh, setup right here. Absolutely. E machines today. For 65 bucks. I'm so excited. Anybody like a random colleague? Ah, it's pretty random. I do actually. <laughs> I want the terminal, is what I want. Sorry, I. Yeah. I have an Altair 800 clone, you know, and they look identical, yeah. they work identically, but, you know, it's a clone. Oh, you want the real one. That's no, I, I think I was told the guy selling it, like, that price tag would guarantee I get murdered if I came home. Not today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you doing? Oh, I'm glad it's getting a new home. And one of those, oh, that'd be cool. I'm probably not going to win that. Uh -huh. oh. oh, no, I got it. See, that's how I ended up with the pyramid. <laughs> Just put a bid on it, and it's like, wait, that's here now? What do I do with it? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. That's awesome. What's your name, by the way? Matt. Matt. Uh, Intergalactic Microsystems. There we go. Yeah. No, I didn't get to see it actually at the auction, but uh, I heard it. It's like, it's sold. <laughs> yeah, Matt. It's been reduced. I haven't been here since like, a new router. What? There's still a lot. Yeah, there's still a lot, but it's been reduced. I remember those monitors. Oh, yeah. Just so many people. Yeah. No, it's just it's just thoroughly packed. I was here even years. still. And it was still like So yeah, people are starting to uh kinda kinda leave and shut down for the night, but you know, this is my chance to see some of it on my own. The rest of it I'm definitely going to be taking a look at Luke's <laughs> footage when I get back and dang these are all so cool. What the heck? Okay. Total of 56. I'm, I'm a bit of a, a YouTube personality. I've done about eight videos in the last 15 years. I, yeah, that's the proper dedication to the craft right there. <laughs> I, I, I dig it. That's exactly what, if I attempted it, what I would end up with too. And I do a lot of things on the Tandy Color Computer and the Vintage Computer Festival Midwest. Yeah. And my wife did a video, probably mildly, and... Is in there. A lot of good messages, so I see that. <laughs> Got a record. This, the hard, what, what, what? It's an S100 plus computer, like 1979. Yeah. So it's a Z80 processor. Okay, yeah, that was it's intense. Like a, uh, Back plane, you know, just this is a pretty minimal system. So just a, a Z, Z80 processor, hard disk controller, floppy disk controller, and RAM. And this is the 11 megabyte hard drive that goes with it. <laughs> pretty so I got, beefy. I got this a few two months ago. Really? I restored it. Yeah. You can awesome. see the heads kind of see once you, just, once you start reading it. and writing. Give me one second to get into a different app. Sure. What they would have called a Winchester interface. I'm here. Oh, really? Yeah. When did you get here? Uh, about 95 minutes ago. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I wish you had longer too. It's not nearly enough time. <laughs> Which is uh, well, I got a little bit of hard drive shenanigans here. But uh, I've been wanting this monitor, dude. You should have been here earlier. I have, uh, I have one for sale. The best and most useless SGI. Titanium prism. It's uh, two. I, uh, each each one of those nodes are numa linked together. They have okay. really thick cables at the back. If you want to see them, you can go go back. We can go back there and see them. But it doesn't have actual SGI graphics hardware. Okay. It has a two-power GL. Uh, 
Here's the Numa link. Good grief! Yeah, that's a big beefy game. So, Titanium's in two of them together, but uh, Onyx 4 actually has um, uh, eight 1 gigahertz R16008. And that one has just wow. needs one Numa link. And those, I believe, Numa link is around. Is it like 10 gigabytes per uh, gigabytes per second? Like gigabytes per second, not gigabytes. All I know is that it's really, it's really fast. It's what was the main purpose for like that kind of a setup back in the day? Supercomputer stuff. Yeah. yeah. SGI diverted themselves when they bought Prey to be more of the supercomputing. Killed them. But, right. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of being all the the graphics, the graphics hard. They went all CPU, all everything. They, they try to be Sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they were saying. It was like going over, I don't know, something thing with the circuit here at the hotel. So it's like... Do you want to put the honest back on? Because <laughs> the... Finally getting over this way. That is incredible. I just and got that working again. Really? Just in time for your arrival. Yeah, I was... Uh, I haven't been over here yet, but... I was seeing some of the footage from earlier, and I'm like, Excellent. what is this? I need to get over in this way. So, yeah, you got the classics again. Good. I delivered this to Nevitz. Okay. Okay. Nevitz is a good friend of mine. I met him here at VCF a couple of years ago. And um, I, I arranged the deal. I drove to Tucson. I brought this to him as part of the Data General Nova Eclipse system. But it's just a completely different application. Yeah. Yeah. Strong. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I take it out and show you, but it's currently running right now. Yes. Uh, that uh, memory board is uh, yes. of my design. Nice. Um, it's just got memory, serial card, and CPU. And the serial card is driving this beautiful beast. Yeah, we were uh, admiring it uh, draw so that, some that's patterns the, and stuff. Uh, that's the screen, uh, screen saver. Oh, really? So what, what okay. I've got running on here is a drawing program. You hit E to start a new line and space to continue the line. Okay, that's super cool. Four of these. <laughs> I'll say it again. How much is this? Eight kilowatts. Wow. A word is a 16-bit value. This right. Is, this, the Data General Nova has no concept of a byte. That's wonderful. They, they did way more than they could have in real life, but I'm quite fascinated about it. So I'm proud to say that there are two computers at this table that would have been, you know, not the actual prop, but the same model as the prop that was used in the show. If I'm not mistaken, it was this one? Close. One of them? The one was next one of them? to it. Okay, the, the one next right. to it. Okay. So that one, the Ntrex 480, that's okay. the Ntrex data scope, which is the proprietary terminal for the data entry system that this is designed for. Right. This was the computer that was, you know, supposedly connected to Kit and the Foundation's, you know, master computers. Right now. Super hell. Like the thing with like a little black hole now. Yeah, so it's watching. It's like a slide game. Of course. I like this one a lot. Yeah, you would think. Why is this modem so big? Um, but yeah, like <laughs> you would think that it'd be like a, a prime. I know why they're, they're too busy already. Well, yeah, like adding even more, but yeah, yeah by the time a, a VCF rave great. would be, uh, yeah, I would, I would be all over that. The upload, the corner computer. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, that weird oh, thing. I've always Come kind on. of what five hundred fifty dollars. I know they're pretty valuable, but I'm still tempted. I'm Are you still on tempted. Decker Bell, and I still have the four twenty five for music stuff. For making music, stuff like that. What kind of card do you have in there for, for the music? So, I have a, a Soundbuster 32 expanded. Okay. 
So it's basically an all 32. Yeah. And I use Voya Trump. The classic damage. Oh, yeah. that, it looked bad. I know. Kind of, yeah, $2. $2. Well. I bet it is. I bet it went all through all the layers. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Sure did. Doing Chicago yesterday. And oh, we were right. walking, like, me and my brother were walking river walk and stuff like that. So my feet are hurting like crazy. Yeah. And I'm here only no with doubt. the power of pain medication. <laughs> <laughs> the power of pain medication may as well be the show's motto. <laughs> pain, pain meds, caffeine, a little bit of beer later, you know. It's, 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 and this event. <laughs> I, yeah, no, honestly, that would have been a good idea. I wish I had done that myself. I learned about the longer tongues uh, just recently. These are tiny. Uh, oh, those are great. Yeah, you yeah. Play with these? I do actually. I have one in my home that I use to uh, distribute TV to my old TV sets. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you get some use out of them. Yeah, I don't know if that's what they're supposed to be for. Right. You can open them up and change the channels that way. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. pretty cool. And you can also the yeah. Okay. So this board is one that I designed. It's got a pie on it. That's what bootstraps the machine. It bootstraps both the graphics board, which is known as the Sergeant Pepper board, yeah. and then it boots the CPU board. I love the Yeah. It starts that. Yeah. 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 Official televideo. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, uh, oh, official, right. official. The doctor is in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The consultant. That's cute. Wow. That's handy. The heck is that? Hot hips, hot hips. What? PDP 11, lovingly restored for the last torturous six months. <laughs> it is configured right now, running a basic program that will let you type your name and have it punched on this punch in paper tape in a readable format. Really? If you will so kindly, please type your name in on the letters only using okay. the space bar. They expected you to build it from top to bottom. And so that's why you see all the uh, uh, solid core wires. It's like they saw the solder in place for all of these ridiculous solid things. It's going to keep going. Yeah, it's the yeah, <laughs> limitation is basic, unfortunately. Okay. okay. It's okay. like, hey, I have to print 512 characters. I don't have a choice. Oh, a little chip blob, but then all the resistors and capacitors in it. Yeah. And this, the, the X there, the notes that it was an experimental version, this never went into production until uh, they did it later. Serious Sam Jones, speed three in the bear. <laughs> I just like seeing them working and not crashing. That means I've done something oh. right. Well, oh no. You know what? I spoke. I start the screen. I spoke too soon. Wow. This one is, uh, Five four eighty sixes. <laughs> There's one of the four eighty sixes right here. I think it's a DX two. If I remember. And how many three eighty sixes? Two three eighty sixes. Oh yeah, I see. One of them is to control the rest. <laughs> yeah. So. Just all in a rack mount unit. Yep. What so. was this supposed to be for? I'm not sure, but. That's well, it's for, it's for the resource seven subsystem, obviously. Yeah. I mean, this is the subsystem. So is that yours? So it's for the main system, whatever that is. Yeah, this is so... Here's the other thing. I mean, I don't, I don't need it, but I really want, you know... Open, I guess, the end of my Amazon. I like the uh, the MA12Cs without the Roland logo. I know, really that cool. actually looks yeah. really clean. Really good, yeah. people, I get comments from people all the time saying, "Do you put the Roland logo on there? Did you paint that yeah. on?" Yeah, and it's like, "Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I still screened my own right. speakers." Yeah. <laughs> there it is. That's wonderful. And you had how many of them? 
Um, just a I had two. Okay. Um, I don't have any anymore, and I'm tempted. I was thinking about should I go buy one? <laughs> With like the you just, just like enjoy it, like take your time off. I think I got down one more hallway. Yep. Down the left, yeah. Finally, the end of the day. A long day, a good day. But the end of it. Oh my goodness, so tired. One more morning. Forty years old. <laughs> yep. That's how I'm going to be moving when I'm forty two. I haven't either. <laughs> That's what Nolan Bushnell did after the party. And the crowd. They're waiting. Guess I'd better get to my table. <laughs> All right, the mic working. Usually the top lights up as well. Seriously, it was over there for twenty bucks. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, including the the VGA adapter cable and PCB for the floppy yeah. board. And, and Dude, so yeah, like, yeah, that's the deal of the show, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, incredible. So he 3D the, well, he three D printed the the yeah. stems for the for the. Yeah. Oh, to get the stabilizers. Yep, 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 yeah, yep. yeah. Look at that. You gotta be kidding. Beautiful, isn't it? I love the keyboard. Oh it's my Anderson word. Jacobson. Anderson Jacobson Terminal. Yeah. Huh. Forgotten Machines actually has one on display. Like, I, we were talking about these of the specific keyboards and everything yeah, exactly. last night. Yeah, wow. That German guy over in the corner had like three of them. Kaboom. Really? So this, this, one, this will do the job? That's good. I have high hopes. Let's of hope, no man. Explosions. Let's hope. Ooh. Combination phone, clock, Alarm and calculator from about 1983 ish, 82. Oh my god. The, actually, the very first uh, revision of this was the 7700 and was released in 1979. I see. It is exactly what you said. <laughs> no, that's awesome, dude. Thank you so much for coming back. Sure yeah. So, yeah. Dude, honestly, yeah. For those not in the know, that should look familiar. <laughs> Shutdown time has commenced. Breaking it all down. Yeah, somebody found another tower. <laughs> we have two of them now. Getting down to the last bits. People still mingling. Food. It's noticing all the uh, the wind turbine lights are like synchronized. 
little bit. Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Keep right. This is a road. Another night, another hotel. Some assembly required. And my only view is uh, <laughs> something along that line, but hey, it's fine. We get to sleep and I am so excited. Good night. There is more of a view out there. Not much, but anyway. Uh, last bit of traveling. are good to have. So is nuclear coffee. Alright. There's a pile of crap. Well, I just recorded an interview for a local TV station about high prices and uh, for parking in Louisville. So if you see me on Kentucky TV, that's why. It was completely random. Anyway, get next. Yeah, honestly, probably the same. Absolutely. It's a cool spot though, but not worth $21 for parking. Seems rather proper to me. Wild eggs. That was well worth it. Incredible. Yeah, I got all the things we get those. Onward. Oh. oh so yeah, he's flying back to Richmond from here. And it's back on the road for me to Asheville. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a rest stop here to uh, relieve myself. Welcome to Tennessee. Three hours to go. Mountains, baby. Yeah, actually got plenty of gas, but would not mind grabbing a fresh water and stretch my legs a tad. Nope, it's the restaurant side. A glass. Hmm. Seriously? Got me a t-shirt. Finally getting to the familiar mountain ranges. Welcome to North Carolina. Yay. Heck yeah. Into my woods. 
woods we go, just down into the driveway. Home. Good to be back home. <sighs> Feels good. Time to unwind a bit and go to sleep and wake up and maybe unpack. I don't know. Might wait a couple days. <laughs> I honestly, I don't want to unpack that stupid bunch of crap again. But uh, I forgot I bought this Love's shirt. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Significantly better sleep. Well, I was gonna try to do stuff today, but <laughs> I got up and got me some water and whatnot, and it's like, man, I still feel not great. So I slept a good few more hours, and yeah, I'm definitely not 100% uh, here. I'm starting to feel a little warmer. Might have to take a test and see if it's that. You never know at conventions. <coughs> uh, well, that sucks. It's only been five minutes and it's already showing up. Body aches and sore throat and cough and headache and fever and chills. And, you know, the whole flu-like symptom thing. Seeing a whole bunch of uh, people at the show also that I was hanging out with and met also tested positive, so. Went and saw the doc. Got me on some of that Paxlovid. Whatever. <coughs> I'm gonna give that a shot. Well, it's two or three days later. I don't know. Time doesn't mean anything anymore. But I feel uh, not really worse. Maybe a little better. Generally the same type of rotten. Anyway, I uh, started going through the footage just a little bit. I can't help myself for something. I don't know. This is just the iPhone uh, footage, which I'm, I'm shooting on right now. But um, yeah, just dropped it all onto the timeline. And we've got something like five hours of uh, vlogging yeah that about sums up my opinion on the matter uh it's not gonna be a five hour video i hope but it's just for the vlog it's not even touching the main footage uh, we're over 900 video clips now for this but yeah uh, as much as i would love to oh crap <laughs> as much as i would love to not drop my phone and just like start on the video editing uh nah man even just like setting that up like looking at it just makes my head hurt because honestly the headache part is I know a lot of it's from coughing but just generally like ugh, it hurts and it hurts to think and like look at a lot of anything detailed so I just put out a, a patron update about how everything sucks lots of nice responses from me all so far so thank you for that <laughs> but uh, while writing that I also realized the absolute painful irony of putting all of those certified virus-free stickers on the LGR shareware discs <laughs> at the show. <laughs> you know what? Computer virus-free. Maybe I should have clarified. Hey, still stuffed up, but actually feeling kind of normal today. Let's see if I can actually get some work done. This is insane. Why did I do this? Why did I do this to myself? This is like 40 minutes of footage of just <laughs> the road trip up there. Not even including all the GoPro stuff. I gotta somehow put all that in here. Why didn't I just mount my phone and then I could have it in the same spot? There's a there's an awful lot more work here going on than I, uh, I anticipated. Guess I gotta go get the GoPro from the car. It's still down there. Well, guess what? <laughs> I don't think my GoPro, I, it either didn't record properly at all or something went wrong. I can't read the SD card. I had this mounted in the car the whole trip up, but uh, yep, that's, that's all I get now. It's a brand new card I hadn't used before this trip. I bought a, a larger one specifically for it. This one's from the dash cam, it's the same type of card. It will not even attempt to read in my card readers on this one, on my Mac, on my other lap, it just doesn't work. I don't know whether to be relieved or really, really annoyed 
because there's a lot of context in there, I guess. There was, there's probably like an hour of, of, <laughs> of just chatting to that GoPro, talking about stuff for the trip and what's happening. Yeah, I guess it's just not going to be in here now. Yeah, it's after six o'clock already. Well, I uh, edited out, I don't know, about half an hour's worth of footage. So I've got a good hour edited and, uh, <laughs> Yeah, there's still a bit to go, but, you know, over the next couple days, I should be able to get to that. So I think that's about it for today. Uh, still not 100% here. Mm. Sweet tea in the patio. Yeah, perfect weather for that. It's like 75 out here. I, I honestly need to rest. <laughs> I don't want to push it too hard, you know? I really hope this video comes together because I'm still not entirely sure. Anyway, got to try to stop thinking about it and relax. least take a walk through the yard. It's kind of like having my own park. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this guy. God, that's quite the shroom. That's like six inches tall, six inches wide. Bit of a gray one today. Cloudy and such, raining this morning, so I kind of slept in. I am at least feeling pretty okay still. Kind of stopped up, but you know, not bad, all things considered. So, uh, loading up on coffee and let's get going with the edits. Uh, the sun's getting low. Back time, is it? Lost track of time editing Chinatown. 6.36. I might stop for today. I don't know. Whoops, I kept going. I did at least eat supper, though. Okay, not really. Time to try to unwind. Nice. Much more uh, pleasant day today and feeling good, too, so. Yeah, it feels amazing out here. It's a nice, cool breeze. Like 70 degrees. <laughs> Slept pretty good. So I think my goal today really is just to finish. <laughs> just to finish, like editing the actual main vlog, I, I guess. I don't know. And then I'm going to put this, whatever this is at the end in some kind of outro. And then record an intro probably the next day or two whenever my voice is like more <coughs> cleared out. It's, you know, like 90% there, but goodness already 6 p.m again another day of editing that just flew by probably still gonna do another couple hours or so but uh yeah yeah a downright chilly morning compared to mornings as of late 67 degrees and my coffee is ready nice to be getting some taste back. <laughs> Coffee was really gross when I was on Paxlovid, but this is actually good today. Let's get to editing, finish this thing off. I got a, oh, a notification that um, there was some activity in the front yard while I was editing and yeah, goodness. They, they want the water out of the bird bath. Those cubs are getting big. Knocked over the bird feeder. Or the bird bath, rather. Wow. Hey, you want to see the bear computer? Is a bear computer. Okay. Well, anyway. I guess that's that. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking about replacing this anyway. It just came with the house, but I guess the bears are gonna decorate for me or force me to redecorate. You know, I'm realizing <laughs> that this whole last bit of the video is, and uh, there's not a lot going on, is there? But I wanted to show the process of sort of the post process, I guess, of one of these shows. And so much of it's editing. So much of my life is editing. <laughs> it's just editing all day long. 
Anyway, I think it's pretty much done. We're like a two minute, two, two minutes, I wish. Two hours and 40 minutes. And now I'm just gonna record an outro. Actually, I'm gonna unload the car because I haven't actually done that yet and it's over a week later. I think the camera just stopped recording because <laughs> I still had like the entire back to go and hey, whatever. It just would have been a time lapse of me taking out all the stuff and putting it inside. You missed so much. Oh my goodness. I've got some visitors over there. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello. Far less concerning than a bunch of black bears in the yard. Still super cool. I guess this is just the uh, the day for nature visits. <laughs> All right, testing out the GoPro here again to see if this new card works or if it was the GoPro that died. Uh, I guess if you're seeing this footage, then then the new card uh, did the trick, and somehow the old one just broke or some crap. Anyway. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this video done, more or less. Still film the intro. I don't know. I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> I'll post this video eventually. I don't actually know uh, when this is going up yet. Everything is wonky with my schedule. I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, video that's way too freaking long. <laughs> and, uh... You know, more of just the surrounding madness that happens with this show. And probably is uh, the last time I'm going to be doing it for a year or two. I don't know. Probably a year off. I mean, at least a year off I'm going to take. But probably just that. Um, we'll see if they maybe get another venue or change things up enough to uh, make it worth, you know, like making another video about. I'm going to go back eventually whether or not I do make another video. But, yeah, it's, it's VCF Midwest uh, as it is in 2023. So... Again, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, do check out the other sort of main, more edited, narrated video over on LGR, uh, if you haven't, because that'll be a whole different side of this. More collected thoughts, less rambles, hopefully. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>